Welcome back guys to my channel. Um, this week we've got uh, quite an interesting few tests to do. Uh, we've got some of this and some of this. Let's get on with it. So yes guys, uh, we're talking high voltage electricity today or the ignition for the engine. I've seen loads of people post videos of how to build a DIY gas turbine and all this kind of thing. The one thing they don't cover there is ignition and it's not as easy as you think. Over the years I've messed around with pulling igniters out of stoves, all sorts of things. I mean we used to build circuits with components like this and these and a good old coil. I mean they worked, but uh, they could be a little uh, problematic. And if you're running wet fuel, as in a spray nozzle, where you're spraying the fuel in at sometimes nearly a litre a minute, they were a little bit hit and miss. If you were using, if you were vaporising the fuel, or if it was a gas propane start, you, 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 you could pretty much work with one of these. I put a quick video of one of them working above. But then a few years ago, some clever people in China came up with these things. Um, at first they were few and far between. There was a company in the States and there was a company in the UK supplying them. And they were probably, I think, 15 quid each. Which compared to all of these was, was cheap, but still when you got to import them from the States until the UK company was about was a bit expensive. They run anywhere from three to five volts. So on a go-kart where you run in a 12 volt supply, it's pretty useful. You just get a, a step down transformer and they, they pretty much changed the game because they just made life so much easier if you just wanted a, a readily available spark. So I'm going to do a bit of a demonstration for you move all the the old stuff out of the way right guys I've, I've I've got one pretty much set up for you now um, there's the, the little box there's the, the spark plug with a, a rather large gap on it and I'm just going to connect it to the power supply now what I will say with these the one thing you've got to remember is they're not they're clever but they're not that complex and there's no voltage direction protection so just always remember if you're buying some of these that not to connect them up the wrong way there's a lot of power coming out of one of these so just just be a little bit careful I mean I don't want to teach any of you to suck eggs or anything like that but uh, just be sensible about what you're doing so I think they were they were originally that they used for a lighting fireworks in firework displays in China and obviously they're big in fi on fireworks in China so uh, yeah it's quite handy for us so that's that connected I've built a little circuit here drops the voltage down from 12 volts to 5 volts I mean you can get um, smaller drop down transformers than these but um, I tend to run these that the, the, the robust the easily mounted somewhere on whatever you're building as I say bit of a game changer these were so let's see what it performs like as you can see it's quite energetic And for for what three to five volts, it's quite impressive. And I say on gas, easily like your gas supply. If you've got vapored fuel, like we've got in the afterburners, there's one of these wired up to the afterburner ignition. Work work really really well. They are. But as I say, the problem with them is they're a little bit hit and miss with wet, wet fuel. They really don't react or interact with wet fuel 
Um, I'm going to do a little demonstration in a minute, um, just to, to show you, but to, but give you an idea. Got some WD-40. I mean, it's it's a thin oil. Let's give a quick spray and yeah been a little bit more energetic but it really hasn't interacted i mean you can burn this stuff if i spray it in time yeah i may get it to light but again it's not that reliable especially when as i say you, you put in liters of fuel a minute into an engine you really want to get that engine lit as quickly as possible especially if you're using uh, a dive bottle air impingement to start the engine um, you, you, you've only got a limited air supply so you pretty much want it to give you a good good spark like the fuel as quickly as possible so then if you were lucky enough just let me take this apart and move it out of the way so say if you were lucky enough you got access to one of these I mean that is uh, circa 1960s goblin ghost era type of uh, igniter um, solid aluminium chassis and and like 1960s type ignition uh, they even had points in them and, and, and a lot of the times you'd, you'd get these and they'd, they'd be not working you'd have to make your own points or somebody had robbed out parts um, I've got this one purely as demonstration I did have a working one but the problem with these is they're quite heavy as you can see they're well made well put together um, but some weight in them and if you're building just a, a static engine it's not much of an issue they will work at 12 volts but you really need 24 volts to get the best out of them um the, they are proper aircraft quality the, the cracker boxes bang boxes whatever people call them um but they uh, they can cost and as i say getting them that run at 12 volts a lot of the later ones run at 110 volts so then you've got an issue of, of transferring things down so we went on with the help of a a friend richard staveley and we we're able to build that again can be run off 12 volts uses a standard igniter plug or uh, aircraft style lead which again themselves the leads they're not that easy to get hold of um, and when you do get them they can be quite expensive but you can make your own leads up if you if you know what you're doing so we, we literally went from that that doesn't weigh a great deal and I'm, I'm not going to show you what's inside guys not because I want to keep it to myself I'll happily make somebody one of these it's just there's a lot of voltage in one of these and it, it, I'd hate for anyone to get hurt so just give me a minute and I'll wire this up and we'll, we'll do a test <laughs> And again, the new box, um, you need a 12 volt supply, but again, it's it's not beyond the pales to work out that there is one of these inside it, and it, it runs on a, a three to five volt supply. Um, the beauty of these step downs, you can actually run from 12 to 24 volts, um, but they will shut off if you put more than 24 volts through them. They, uh, they've got a self-protection mode inside them. Again, that's why I prefer them. You can get the cheaper ones, but sometimes it's worth paying a little bit more to get the reliability and the, the built-in safety. So uh, let's have a look how this performs. Now, that on the surface doesn't look as energetic as the spark plug um, you would think well why why uh, why go down that route 
Well, the reason being, let's see what it makes when it's got some oil on. Let's see if that makes any difference. Let's see what happens if it, how it interacts with the, the oil. So you can see there that it's a much more energetic interaction. It's literally igniting the oil. Um, it, it seems to get stronger the wetter it gets. So when you, you, you've got a wet fuel engine, let's say with the spray nozzles and that, the more reliable, more dependable, um, you get that bang. That's why they're sometimes called cracker boxes or bang boxes because they really do go really are an energetic um, ignition source so uh, yeah uh, so I'm gonna do a little test just to just to uh, it's probably an extreme test um, do that and then we're gonna get on with the uh, the test of the spray nozzle for the the new engine just to see if the, this nozzle is going to work and whether it's going to and we'll actually use one of these to ignite some real fuel and, and see how all that goes but just bear with me a minute i'll get set up and uh, get the test the one thing i will say with anything like this just be careful don't be getting anywhere near that when it's firing there's there's a lot of energy involved it could kill you um it will give definitely give you a nasty, a nasty shock. So yeah, yeah, just be careful. Right, bear with me a second. I'll get set up for the test, and uh, we'll see what you make of it. So guys, I'm back with you. Um, I just thought we'd we'd do a demonstration to to to, <laughs> to see. Let, let, just take the. The difference in the the plugs to the extreme do a, a wet test as i say you need something that's going to handle lots of fluid fuel being sprayed at it very quickly and you need a reliable ignition source so uh, what i'm going to do is fill this glass with water I'm going to drop that in there. The electrodes covered. Yeah. So, what do we think is going to happen? So, I'm just going to stand back a little bit. Let's see what happens. Well, not a lot there. I think basically because it's shorting the thing out in effect. I don't want to try it any more times. I don't want to damage that. I probably have. Um, but there you go. If, if you put in litres of fuel in, uh, I don't think that's going to pretty much every time light your fuel. So, again, only fair. Let's try it with the uh, the aircraft igniter. Just bear with me again. Set these things up. Uh, before I do this, I just want to remind people that the competition is still running. Um, there's the cash prize up for grabs. I mean, who don't want 50 whatever in your local currency in your pocket or even a free t-shirt so go and have a look at the the uh, jet bike failure video and enter the competition so uh, let's uh, see what happens again plain water aircraft igniter plug the uh, the bang box there power supply everything just the same as we had it before so uh, I could end up wrecking that, or I don't know. Let's see. So, 
you saw there the uh, the amount of energy involved it uh, literally bounced the the igniter plug up so uh, yeah let's uh, just rearrange things and give it one more more try I think we've got a short somewhere. I can hear it. Let's see what it performs like when I take it out. I mean, considering that's been in there. So let me know what you think about the igniters. Yeah, we had a bit of an issue there. I think there's a bit of a, a short inside the uh, inside the, uh, the ignition box, I need to just check it. Uh, I only put it together the other day, I've not really tested it that much, but it's still fired, fired in the glass, and uh, it fired when I brought it back out. So now, now it's time to put it into some use. Uh, I'm gonna try and burn some fuel, test this new spray nozzle. Uh, so we'll get on with that then, yeah? Right, so we're, uh, we're gonna test one of the spray nozzles for the, uh, the new engine. I'm not going to give too many details about the nozzles yet until we've checked whether these work and whether they're going to be successful. Uh, and we don't want anyone pinching our idea, do we, John? So uh, I've got an aircraft igniter plug in there, one of the spray nozzles at the back. I've wet everything down. We don't know how it's going to react. We don't know if it's going to work. So uh, I could just end up with a a lot of fuel sprayed everywhere and no flame. Hopefully we'll get a bit of flame. It's a bit windy here, so we're having to just try and keep the flame in some kind of control. We've got a fire extinguisher. Well, we've got two fire extinguishers, uh, good practice. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll do what we can. Um, hopefully we'll see you after the video. You don't know, do you? So, uh, right, we'll get on with it. So yeah, we survived. Went quite well, I think, didn't it, John? Some of you won't know who John is, but some will, so anyway. Yeah, everything went okay. It, uh, it lit. Uh, the reason it didn't light to, uh, to start with was because there was water in the line that I'd used when I was just checking everything through. Unfortunately, the fuel pump I'd planned to use failed. So I, I was literally, I'd got a syringe and I was just trying to push it through as quickly as I could. Uh, so really, I've got, I've got no idea what pressure we're working at. I can't imagine it was that high, but at a later stage, I'll build another test rig. I'll get a fuel pump and uh, test it with the fuel pump with some gauges and everything. But proof of concept, I think that was pretty good. So that's it pretty much for this week, guys. As I say, competition's still running. Some cash up for grabs and t-shirts. I mean, seriously, who didn't want a bit of free cash, eh? Just go back to the uh, the video with the jet bike failure with the engine uh, there's a question in there answer that question in that video in the uh, comment section below and you stand a chance of winning yourself some free cash it'll be sent to you direct uh, it won't be gift cards or anything it'll just be straight cash through PayPal or Amazon gift card if you want so uh, you know what to do guys like and share subscribe and um, click notifications and Thanks for watching. Till next week, take care.